Look at what we have. We are asked to solve for the values of x in x squared plus 2 root 2, x minus c to the power 0. Now, don't forget, we are using confidence in the square method, and that's what we're using. So, how do we solve the very quadratic um, equation, this Olympiad, uh, Olympiad math? How do we solve it? How do we solve this? Now, the first thing we're going to do is to the same thing. We'll send this over to the other side, this x squared plus 2 root 2, x. Um, equals to 6 minus 6 cross to the other side become plus 6. So what do we do next? Don't forget, normally we look for a way to get rid of the coefficient, if there's any major coefficient like 5, 6, or whatever. We just look for a way to get rid of it by using it to divide all through. So we end up having just a single, just 1 as a coefficient of the uh, unknown with the highest power. But right here, we have a naturally, you know, a kind of coefficient of, we have the kind of coefficient we desire. That's what we have. So x squared plus 2 root 2x equal to k, equal to c, 6, I mean. So the next thing to do is we look for a way to add something to this that will help it become, um, once again, the kind of quadratic equation that we desire. So you can add k, you can add p, whatever you want to add to it. Let me add p this time around plus p equal to 6 plus p. So don't forget why to add p also. Whatever you do to this place, you also do to this place. So p can take out p. You are left with this. That's what you are left with. So you add plus 6. We have plus p, I beg your pardon, plus p also. So don't forget, a is what? a is 1, b is 2 root 2, don't forget there's a mixed sort, then the c is p. So what's going to be the value of, uh, the value of p? The value of p, which is c, you should see is b divided by 2 raised to the power 2. So the c, which is the p we're talking about, equals to, what's the b? The b is 2 root 2 divided by 2 raised to the power 2. 2 year 1, 2 year 1. What do we have? is this root 2 raised to the power 2. So we're going to add this to both sides. So that's x squared plus 2 root 2x plus root 2 raised to the power 2 plus to 6 plus root 2 raised to the power 2. So there's no point trying to break this down. This root 2 raised to the power 2, if you combine root 2 raised to the power 2, you end up with uh, just ordinary 2. So if we leave it this way, it's going to help us uh, find this easily factorizable. So let's see what we have from here. This s squared plus 2 root 2x plus root 2 raised by 2. Now what do we have? The product is positive. Now if the product is positive, it means the two uh, roots, uh, the two, there, yeah, I can say the two roots. The two roots that came together, you know, they, they, they have the same, the same um, sign, plus or plus or minus minus. So what do we have? The sum is positive. It means the two roots have plus and plus. So that's going to be this. x here, x here, that's plus and plus. This root 2 raised by 2, this root 2. And two. That's the reason I, we, I opted not to break it down. 